Get pumped up, get pumped up. Twist balloons, twist balloons, pop, pop, pop. All right, <laughs> I might be losing my mind. All right, hey, uh, everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome. We're back to another balloon tutorial. Today we're gonna be twisting some balloon princesses. That's right, and you can make them uh, any color you like, any hair color, right? Any dress color, whatever you like, just depends. Any arm style, look at that. I have these like t twisted together to save a little bit of time. Here I separated them. So it just depends on what you like. Yeah, and look at the different hairstyles as well. Uh, this one actually, um, this hairstyle over here, the brown hair, the brunette, is uh, that hairstyle was taught to me by Jamie, our local balloon artist. Super cool, super nice, and she knows how to make really super awesome balloons. And so uh, she's rubbed off on me. She she taught me how to make a super cool bike, and I'm uh, forever uh, grateful and thankful for that because you can turn it into a motorcycle. And she knew all about that, and so I love that. So a big thank you to Jamie. Uh, but every time I make a princess and I, I do this hair, I think about you, my friend. So, so anyway, uh, here we go. Uh, let's go ahead and go over the balloons we're going to use. Oh, before we do that, let me talk about the pre-printed balloon. Right there, you see? Right there, you can get it from LaRoxMagic.com. I will put it in the description below so you'll be able to see it. Um, that way you can go buy yourself some, so that way you don't have to draw them, right? So, um, the other thing before I get to all the video, b the, excuse me, the balloons we're going to use for this, let me also tell you that if you haven't done this, um, you can definitely scale it up because this printed face actually not only comes in this six inch uh, link, right? So you can put the hair on it, which is nice, but also it comes in this 11 inch. So it's a bigger balloon. So we can scale this up using 350s instead of the 260s. So think about that. And it doesn't add much more time. You just add a few more balloons. Um, and that's pretty much it. So if you're not, you know, you're not worse than working with it. I can't even speak. Used to working with 350s. This gives you a chance with the design to play around with them and see what you come up with. But again, I use that hairstyle there. And you notice, look at the two right here, just a quick difference before we move to the twisting again. We'll get to it, I promise, my friends. Uh, you'll see, look, I did two segments going down and up right there, and this one has three, just because we were dealing with the bigger balloon. We want it to be nice and full. And of course, you saw on this one over here with the blonde hair, you can definitely do like a little ponytail if you've done a traditional princess. Uh, that's definitely the way to go. So, all right. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's talk about the balloons we're going to be using today for this design. We're going to go ahead and use this balloon. It's already uh, inflated, and I gave it I gave it a squish, and that way it would push out the ink, you know, on the print that's here. Push it out, maximize the size of it. Don't want it to be too small, otherwise, you know, she'll have like a little shrunken face or like a shrunken head, you know. So, anyway, uh, the balloons I'm going to use today are going to be this Caribbean blue. I left about a hand's grip on the end of it there. Okay, and you'll see the dress comes out really fast from this, which is really cool. And then we have our ivory that we're gonna use for the, uh, it's about three fingers there. We're gonna use this for the hair. And then I'm using a 160 blush, and that's gonna be our arms. I'm gonna go ahead and stick to the arms that are out to the side, okay? As opposed to the ones that are one just continuous loop. But either are easy to install, so this is really up to you. All right, so the way I do my balloons is I will uh, bring down the sound. That way we minimize all the squeaking and maximize all the teaching. Yeah? Okay, let's go ahead and get to it. Here we go. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with our Caribbean blue. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to start with a pinch twist on the top. And make sure you pull that nozzle pretty tight when you do that. So it's about two finger. Make sure you pull that pinch twist nice and tight. There you go. And uh, it's not the end of the world if it comes undone. I wouldn't worry about it too much. You can always redo it. So four finger there for the torso. And then we're gonna do another set. Four fingers, see, we're gonna match that, okay? And you can pull through if you want to, to lock twist it, but it's not necessary in this case. I'll show you why, watch. We're gonna come down the side here, and, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure it's a little bit longer so it passes the edge there. And then we're gonna do about a five finger, then a three finger, and then another five, okay? So you can see. We got about, uh, let me go ahead and hold up there. There we go, about hands width, then a three finger, and then we're gonna come right up the other side there. All right, there we go. So you'll see, uh, we're gonna come right back up to the top of the dress. Okay, we're gonna twist in right there. I think that's gonna be just fine. And then we're, the way we're gonna end it is with uh, two bubbles, and then we'll roll around and pinch twist back into that. So there's one bubble, and a second bubble, and I started to get ahead of myself here thinking that I'm just making this on my own without teaching it. So let me go ahead and bring that up for you real quick just to make sure that you know. There you go, so two bubbles right there, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap it around. Now come up closer here in just a moment so you can actually see uh, what I'm talking about. Okay, so you see that second bubble? I'm grabbing it and I'm grabbing that segment of the balloon right there to end 
and it's creating a pinch twist when I do that. See, it naturally happens when you get to that point. Now we can break off the rest. Now that the dress is complete, we can go ahead and move on with the head and the hair and finish with the arms. So the head has already been pre-blown up. I'm just gonna wrap it around the pinch twist segment there. There we go. And I just do one pinch twist there because the rest, everything else is gonna take up the rest of the space. All right, you can see right now the head is cocked to the side of the pinch twist, don't worry about it. We're gonna go ahead and fix that right now, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create this, uh, uh, I guess the bangs, I think that's the right thing to say. <laughs> and um, yeah, about three fingers there, it's a loop, and then we're gonna do a pinch twist. Okay, and because we have the link on the top of that head, we can go ahead and put that on there or link it together for lack of a better word. <laughs> there you go. So I did a couple there. Just go around the top there a couple times. Okay, and so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to measure this just for a second because I'm not going to put it all together. You look at the length. If you just want it to go down to the back where the pinch twist is, and what I'm going to do is go ahead and create our ponytail. And you just want the ponytail to be big enough so where you can run the hair through there to lock it because you're gonna come up and down like a couple times to that and you don't want coming and down on you and you don't definitely wanna have to hold it every single time. So I'm gonna go back up, match it, go back up to that area where you twisted the bangs and the pinch twist and come back down, okay? And then you should have enough left over to go back up one more time, okay? And you'll just uh, roll like a one inch bubble uh, at the end of, is what you should have with your with your balloon. But right now, you see what I did is I grabbed the bottom there where the ponytail is and I just twisted in with the pinch twist. That's all I did. Okay, now all of that is stuck up there and you can see at the top the bangs are backwards, but just fix them so they hang over correctly. There we go. And you see of that last little segment of balloon hanging out over there. I'm gonna go ahead and get a bubble out of that. Just one inch bubble is fine. And you're gonna roll it into the pinch twist up top, okay? Right there and that should get your hair nice and full and you should be good to go and you can get ready to move on to the arms and i wouldn't uh, get hung up about um, popping that bubble up top it'll it'll really support the bangs and kind of push them forward so not a bad thing okay and you see the face is a little bit off to the side you can just grab that balloon and adjust it uh, that makes it pretty easy there we go okay i think we're gonna go ahead let me go ahead and move it around make sure everything is good to go and you'll see these two spots on the sides of the head where the hair is right there, and on the other side, that's where the arms are gonna go in right there, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get our 160, so we can go ahead and make our hands. It's gonna be a loop and a pinch twist, and it's gonna be the same thing for the other side, okay? And they're about a finger, finger and a half, nothing too big for the loops, all right? There we go. And then as far as measurements go, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll hold it up here in just a moment. It's about four fingers for each arm, so for the segment, so you can see I'm just kinda Measuring them up there. Yep. About, oh, about a hand's width. Pardon me. Yeah, I would say four or five fingers and you're okay. Okay, then I'm going to go ahead and finish with a pinch twist and a loop. I don't need that done yet. I'll go back and remeasure that in just a minute. There we go. Finish up there and go ahead and break off the excess and then we'll be able to add the arms in there. So, you know, what's interesting about this too is that uh, this design doesn't take too long, even with the coloring in, which kind of, you know, becomes really cool to be able to pump something out you know that fast and have it look pretty pretty good for the most part so there we are okay so all I'm gonna do now and uh, let me go ahead and shake these elbows real quick is uh, when I install it in here um, it's really up to you if you want to wrap it around multiple times but I feel like there's a lot of pressure with the balloon you know the way it all comes together in that spot that when you wedge the arms up inside there see they're just going underneath the pinch twist then you should be fine actually uh, you know, it shouldn't be any danger of anybody pulling them out. You see right now, look, that, that nozzle came out. Oops. But that's okay. Look, I'll just grab it and we'll twist it inside there. Like I said, if it does come undone on you, it's not the end of the world. Just grab that nozzle and jam that buddy back in there. You could definitely go ahead and recreate that pinch twist. Okay. But otherwise, I'm just working on the aesthetics. Uh, the, arm is, uh, the arms are tucked in there just fine. And so we pretty much made it to the end. Um, thanks for sticking around. I'm not going to color in. Uh, you know all the marker and stuff like that, but I will show you the other one up close so you can check it out But like I said, it's a pretty easy design and it's pretty fast. And so I thank you very much for hanging out with me and so um, Yeah, okay <laughs> Now 
There it is, we made it. Um, I will not bore you with the coloring in of the face because it's pretty easy. Actually, let me uh, bring up the bigger one so you can see exactly in case you're not sure where to color it in, in case you get some and you say, man, golly, I don't know where to, now you will know. <laughs> there it is right there, look, I have the eye colors right there, okay? And then your white marker is for the highlights there in the eyes and the actual white of the eye. Okay, I kept that open for you. And then the lips, I did two spots there, and I kept those for highlights, okay? In case they're wearing really glossy lipstick, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> there it is. And the rest of that is pink or whatever color you choose to make your princess's uh, lipstick for you, okay? There it is right there. So, um, really quick, let me invite you over to subscribe to this channel before you cut out of here. If you didn't, uh, there's a little button down there below. Go ahead and click on that. And I think you can even do, uh, click on a bell and it'll notify you when I put out another video. So it just depends on um, what you're into and what you're looking for as far as balloons go. Maybe I'm helping you out, maybe I'm not, but I uh, gear more towards uh, line twisting and sometimes I'll do stuff that takes a little bit longer. But for the most part, um, line twisting is my favorite. Um, so let's see, last but not least, um, rate the video, give it a thumbs up, I appreciate it. Comment down below. Um, if you wanna support the channel, you can do so at patreon.com slash jlomagic. And then I think that's pretty much it, huh? I think I better get out of here. All right, hey, thanks for hanging out with me. So until next time, happy twisting, my friends. Bye.